Welcome back. Good to see you. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Out of thanksgiving, let's join our voices in giving glory to God. pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. This prayer we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Ask now of the days of old before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth. Ask from one end of the sky to the other. Did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God speaking from the midst of fire as you did and live? Or did any God venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, with strong hand and outstretched arm and by great terrors, all of which the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes? This is why you must now know and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments that I enjoin on you today, that you and your children after you may prosper and that, ye, that you may have a long life on the land which the Lord, your God, is giving you forever. The word of the Lord. Justice 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, for those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption through whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if only we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they all saw him, they worshiped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Last Tuesday afternoon and evening, I was visiting with some parishioners at their home, and the missus of the household was working on a piece of embroidery. It was unbelievable. It's probably 
foot high, maybe eight inches wide. She's uh, maybe two-thirds of the way through the work. But the intricacy of the design and watching her do a little bit and turning it over, making a knot, changing the color of thread, and back and forth and back and forth, and to see the front of it, absolutely beautiful, incredible piece of work. And you turn it over, and it looks like my housekeeping. Uh, nothing's where it should be, and knots, and this and that, and it looks like a mess. Uh, but I think that's a beautiful image on the Feast of the Blessed Trinity to think of God's work as embroidery. And the outside is the plan that he has given to all of us, the plan to make this world a world reflecting the message of Jesus Christ, a world that is at peace, a world that is working together. And you turn it over and you see how it's coming about through the efforts, the struggles, the challenges that are a part of our lives, the little failures here and there, the mistakes that we make, all of it tied together in the back, but always that opportunity that what we are doing and what you and I are working at together is to present the other side of a beautiful piece of art where everything is in the right place, the colors are resilient and beautiful, and it will be done through the hard work of you, hard work of all of us in our own lives, tying those knots in the back. It's the best I can do with the Trinity. I forgot those classes long ago, but I don't forget that you and I are working to make this a better place. Let's stand. Having heard the word of God, let us turn to the Lord in faithful prayer. As we bless ourselves to a trinity of persons, may we always know God's habit of loving us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. On this Memorial Day weekend, let us remember those who have died and those who have and are still serving our country. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christian churches, that they may be one in the unifying love of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That graduates will use their God-given gifts and talents for the good of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, that they may know the comfort of God's Spirit, especially Doc Dolan, John Orm, Mary Orm, Ann Kelsey, Georgiana Modine, Haley Torville, and K Colleen Scalzi. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Jean Getz and Geraldine LeMay, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Agnes Ann Ament, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, we come to you as children, children who are needy and dependent, but confident that you hear our prayer, for we make it in the powerful name of Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you. This prayer we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For his death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Bernard, our Bishop, the clergy, and the entire people your Son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion for those who have joined us from their homes. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us stand and pray. Since you, we are children of God. God has sent us into the world to bear witness to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. You see that the leaving after communion became very popular. <laughs> we have to work on that. Um, Again, welcome back. It's good to see all of you, and uh, praying together makes a difference. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. <laughs>